great day, IntelliTravel agents. It's IntelliJess, your VP of training. I'm excited to be here. So glad I got to meet so many of you on ITQ. And you told me that you come here for Fridays and that you love it. And that made me so happy. And I hope to meet many more of you in the future. Just want to do a quick check since no one has said good morning yet that you can all see my screen and hear me. Dun 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 dun. Okay, thank you, Richard. Thank you, Michelle. We're good now. All right. So we are going to get started with a topic that I covered. Uh, if you guys hear some growling in the background, I got two puppies today, not just mine, but his brother. And we got gnashing teeth going on, and you know how brothers play, if you do. Anyway, so I'm going to try and keep them quiet. But I did this topic, um, the full version of it, when I was at ITQ, and the agents loved it. So I thought I would bring it to you all, the masses, so that you too can market yourself as a travel concierge. So let's get started. Not you two, you're not getting started. You're being quiet. Excuse me, separate yourselves. Bodhi, come over here and tell a pup. Oh, these two, these two, they give me a challenge. Okay. <laughs> All right, so if you see here on the screen, I looked up the definition of a concierge on Google, not a travel concierge, a concierge. And it said, from planning and booking your travel, a personal concierge. That's what I looked up, personal concierge. And it said, from planning and booking your travel to making restaurant reservations or getting you access to special events. So I ask you, how is that different from a travel agent? Right? You can book and plan travel for them. You can help them make their restaurant reservations on cruises before they get on. You can get them access to special events through golden tickets and all our other vendors. So basically, there is no difference, but it's the way you brand. And there's something exclusive about being a concierge. So I was telling them a story about how years ago, my audio doing funny things. Uh, I was taught in this marketing class that you should, uh, oh, they told a funny story. So the story went that there was this canned salmon company and they had red canned salmon and industry and everybody bought it. And then this new brand came on and it was pink salmon. So the pink salmon all of a sudden started doing much better in sales. So the red salmon people got very upset and they said to their advertising execs, do anything legal, but get them to start buying our salmon. So yeah, by any means legal, let's get our sales up. So they put on their can, on their labeling, red salmon guaranteed not to turn pink. <laughs> a simple little phrase like that made everyone suddenly think to themselves, ooh, well, if it's guaranteed not to turn pink, why is that one pink? Pink must be bad, right? They made this deduction in their head. So you can use that same trick to instantly brand yourself with the exclusivity by simply saying this phrase. Don't use a travel agent when you can use a travel concierge. Okay, so again, very simple. It implies that, you know, what you do is better. So when people come to you, it's, you know, it's about perception. It's about the fact that when they come to you and say, well, wow, you're a travel concierge, what does that mean? Why would, you know, how's that different than a travel agent? And that's when you explain, well, I do everything a travel agent does, plus I have special treatment that I am able to add and all of it is for free. 
like my services don't cost you a thing, but I can get you special treatment. I can, and then you might be saying, well, how do I get this special treatment for free? Well, I'm going to show you. I mean, it, special treatment doesn't have to mean something that costs money. It's literally the way you treat them. And you want to make sure that you're using the words travel concierge constantly, branding yourself that way. So I gave them an example of a social media presence. Now, I'm going to try to make this a little bigger for you. So if you looked up the hashtag travel agent, first of all, you'll see there's almost 3 million people using that, that hashtag. However, if you look up travel concierge, there's only 100,000. Okay, so much less competition in that field. Now, again, less people are searching for travel concierge, but I promise you the people who are, are looking for a higher end of service, which means higher end vacations, which means higher commission payouts to you. So I, you know, look, you're, you're travel agents. So if you have a page that looks like the travel agent page, like this guy's from Boston, he's like, thumbs up, they're having fun on the left here. And then you look at the couple on the right and they're in this beautiful location, you know, just looking very relaxed and calm. So there is no right or wrong. Neither of these are wrong. Like Little Miss always planning a trip, adorable. I would not put that on a travel concierge page. You know, they're showing some outfits that you could put together for travel. Um, here are some beautiful shots. And then there's this weird comic strip. I don't know what that means. It's It scares me. So, I mean, it's different than if you look at this Greek frappe. I'm like, I don't know what that is, but I want it. And then if you look at the photos with people in it, they're just more wanderlusty. They create this elegance and desire and I mean even looking at the most recent like here we've got pecans here we've got Louis Vuitton so you see there is a difference in the way you brand your page and I know that people say on Instagram aesthetics aren't important anymore you know just slap stuff up there and that's good but, you know, in certain markets, it's not. In the luxury market, they don't want you slapping stuff up there because they have higher expectations. So you can deliver on those. And believe me, if you hashtag travel concierge and then look for their reels, you will see gorgeous reels. And hopefully there'll be templates in there for you to use. So just keep this in mind. Then you want to think helpful because that's what a concierge is. When you go to a hotel concierge, they're the ones that help you find a restaurant and make reservations for you. They're the ones that get the special car service for you. So how can you be helpful to your clients? So you can give them, let me see, somebody says no audio. Yeah, sometimes my audio goes in and out. I'm only going to be in this place for two more weeks, guys. I'm sorry. I am, um, I've stayed two months in Coronado this summer to escape the heat of Las Vegas. So the internet has been spotty and the dogs have been partying. Okay. So think helpful travel tips. So I love to give packing tips because I'm constantly traveling. So I can tell you how to pack travel with a knapsack for a weekend, or I can tell you how to pack for a, you know, a, a week long cruise with, a, with a, something you have to check and you know how to do that. So it was funny because I've always taught to take photos of your outfit. So this way when you unpack, you'll have uh, more of an idea of what you, you're gonna wear. You see how it, how it goes. Um, I can't go into presentation mode because when I do, uh, it, it, I it can't see what's going on. Like I can't, I don't know, something weird happens in GoToWebinar that does not happen in Zoom and I don't know why. And it doesn't happen on the Tuesday, Thursday webinars, but for some reason, uh, you know why? Probably because they're not talking to you guys during, and I am, so sorry about that. Uh, but I'll try and make this as big as I can. Can I make this screen bigger? Ooh, okay, 
So I'm trying to make that bigger. Okay. And this is being recorded, so you can go back and you can like blow it up to full size on your screen. So now what I realized on this carnival cruise when we went for ITQ is I took it a step further. Instead of just taking pictures, when I unpacked, I pulled up my pictures and I took each outfit and put it on one hanger. So for each outfit, I had a hanger and I literally knew which one was for the red ball. And I didn't wear red, but I had accessories. So you might be thinking it's easy, whichever one's red. Main stage. And then I had them for the gym and I had them for the dinners and I had them for brunches and all the things. All right, so what are things that you can tell your agents never leave home without? So I can tell you all right now, a helpful tip for you, if you're sending people to Jamaica, never leave home without bug spray, okay? Helpful hacks, so then you take it further. You wanna be able to help them um, with things in their everyday lives. So like how to remove a stain or how to create tranquility of a hotel room at home. So we, some of us stayed at the Hyatt Regency before getting on the ship. And I said, how many of you stayed? And a whole bunch of people raised their hands. I said, did you notice the noise machine? So now obviously Miami gets very noisy at night. So there's a reason why they have those sound machines. But I mean, you can have a sound machine that has, you know, beautiful like sounds of ocean waves, or you could have rainforest or you could have a when I see that happen all right uh, so those are some fun like tips that you can be giving throughout the year and then you want to also think convenience give them airport advice so one of the things that what I discovered recently was the was the airport lounge I always thought that you had to be a member. I didn't realize that you could buy a day pass. Well, on the way home from ITQ, we had um, we, we had to get off the ship by nine. Our our nine a.m. We didn't have to be at we didn't have to be at the airport until eight p.m. However. I had giant luggage that I could not lug around, you know, Lincoln Avenue in Miami. And so we went to the American Airlines airport. Nah, sorry, guys, the dogs are really just, please, mommy is working. We went to the American Airlines. I literally slept for eight hours, pretty much, because I was so exhausted from ITQ. I found a great lounge chair. They had breakfast there. Then they had lunch there. There were snacks. There was drinks. There's a bar. There's a shower. Everything was there. So anything you can do to give, you know, convenience for airports, going to the right airport for where they live, and then how to manage points. So get ready to cringe, everybody. Y'all are going to cringe on me, but IntelliTravel does not have a specific um, hotel brand or a specific airline that they use. So whichever is cheapest, that's where I'm going. And basically what that means is I just, you know, I do not have points set up for everywhere. And even when I do, I don't know my number. And so I am missing out on so many points. Boy, I wish I had a travel concierge who would like do reminders for me and help me see the importance and, and manage my points for me, but I don't. So that is something that would be really helpful to your clients because they can get some really great bonuses and they can get you know free lounge and all the good stuff. All right, so now, I have this a little smaller now so you can see it all of it smaller let's get this whole page smaller oh my goodness there we go so now we've got our marketing materials i'll try and move this over here come on aye, aye. okay marketing materials 
So again, you want to kick this up a notch. So we have IntelliTravel business cards. When I was at ITQ and I saw our print shop woman, they have like 60 new cards that are like beach themed or European themed or luxury themed. So you can get new business cards made that are more um, spectacular. You want to really create something beautiful for them. We've talked about newsletters. I asked how many people use the newsletters every month and maybe three hands went up in a room full of, you know, a couple hundred people. So it's really important that you are staying in touch with your clients every month and giving them something of value. Remember when I talked about being helpful, packing tips, ha helpful hacks, that's what goes into a newsletter. You're not talking about travel in a newsletter. They're getting that information already from you. What they need is something that's gonna make them want to open up the newsletter, something of value that they could read that will help them in their life. That'll either make them laugh, so if any of you have kids or grandkids and you know they all say funny things, keep them written down in notes in your phone or in a, in a journal and just write down every month, send them, here are some things that my kids say, enjoy the laugh, and then attach some hot deals for kid-related you know, kids sell free with, with Royal Caribbean. So you could attach some hot deals for that. Then on the right side here, we've got some headers for your Facebook page. Not only do we have these, but your supply, your preferred suppliers, your preferred partners have them as well. And so you, you don't have to go into Canva and DIY it. You know, these people have spent millions of dollars collectively in creating marketing materials for you so use it because it makes you look more professional then we have our intella postcards in your back office so here is a campaign of five things that a concierge would use so the first one is a see for yourself so that's a postcard that you would send out to them when you see something special or a hot deal or something unique that you think that they would really like send them a personal postcard and say hey you know, I just came back from Jamaica. I know your kids are obsessed with the Olympics. I just thought maybe you'd want to go on a trip there and they could go on the on the bobsledding ride. That's it. You're not asking them to book. You're, you're just giving them an idea. Then if they come back to you and say yes and they book their trip, so even if they just book a trip and it's not because of this first, you know, you'll use these next four every time, every time, okay? This is one is for you to like keep people in mind that you use the Your Vacation Countdown that lets them know that you're thinking about them, that you are aware no matter how many clients you have, you know that they are leaving soon. All right, then when they leave, you can say bon voyage. And you know if you wanna add that special touch, you can say, please take a picture of you and your family or you and you and your bow, you know, your bow or whoever it is, Please take a picture when you get to the ship or when you get to your destination so I know that you're there. Please send it to me so I know that you're there safely. In the meantime, as soon as you get that, you're going to print it out and you're going to put it in a frame or something and mail it to them so it's there waiting when they get home and you say something like, may you always remember this moment and plan for many more. Something like that, okay? Then you're also going to send them a welcome home. And you're gonna say, I'm so, I'm so excited to hear about how your trip was. Are you available to talk this week? How about Thursday or Friday? You know, give them a little time you know, to settle in. They're just getting home on Monday, right? Or Sunday, so give them time and then you know, talk to them. And then like three weeks later, send this thank you, thank you, thank you. And just say, I can't stop thinking about our conversation and what a great trip you had. And it just makes me so happy. And I, you know, because of you, I am able to do what I love and that is make your travel dreams come true. So there you go. All right. So let's see, the final thing I'm going to say is your mindset. It is to serve luxuriously. It is to exceed expectations. It is to create awe and wonder. So you've all seen a plain donut. Then we have a donut here. This is, this is what a travel agent would do. So a regular donut, a plain old donut would be something that you know, people who are booking themselves would do. A travel agent would put some nice white, white um, frosting on it with little pink lines, make it cute. 
but a concierge is making like creme brulee, Boston uh, cream pie. I mean, they are like doing fancy donuts, couture donuts, right? And even the drinks, little extras like putting strawberries in it. I mean, when, when you are talking high end, when you are talking concierge service, they're thinking, how can we make this unique? How can we create awe and wonder? How can we deliver the spectacular? So I want you thinking about that whenever, <clears throat> whenever you are, I'm sorry, I'm seeing some of you say that my audio is going in and out. <clears throat> and I know it is, but I can also see when it does. So don't worry, I am pausing. I am pausing whenever I see it happen. So you're not missing anything. <clears throat> when, whenever you start looking for marketing materials to share, instead of blasting them with a bunch of pictures, look for the one photo that you will never forget. So here's an example. I have seen photos of safaris in Africa my whole life. And I've always dreamt of going on an African safari and seeing the animals and how amazing it would be. However, there is one photo that I saw in a Condé Nast Traveler years ago that I have never forgotten and want to find this place and go there. It was a photo of a hotel room with a window and a giraffe's head was sticking in it. So like you can literally like feed the giraffe and pet the giraffe. I was like, I must be there before I go. Like before I, you know, meet the Lord, I must go to that hotel and meet those giraffes. That is spectacular. What are the photos and images that are gonna stick with your clients that they're like, even if they can't go now, they're like, I will never forget that that exists and I want to be there. That's what you wanna focus on. When you are looking through your marketing materials that each vendor gives you, when you go into ALG V360, when you're going into Royal Caribbean's, you know, whatever it is, when you're looking in their portals, you want to make sure that you are looking through and your when your heart skips a beat on a photo, and your jaw drops to the floor, you know you have found your photo that you're gonna send to your clients. Okay, so I know it's Giraffe Manor in Kenya. Oh, Nicole, are you gonna send me there? All right, 